Welcome to the Cranston East Gym and welcome to the Fans Only Sports Network for some high school volleyball. The Bishop Hendrickson Hawks are coming in to take on the Cranston East Thunderbolts. Bishop Hendrickson sits 2-1 and one on the season after facing three C teams on the year, Cherho, Classical, and Coventry. They face a fourth here to start their season against Cranston High School East with the Bishop Hendrickson Hawks going against Cranston East sitting 1-2 and two in league play and 0-2 oh across their games that truly matter. Their last game out was a 3-1 to one win versus Central on the road, a non-leaguer, and you can see them getting ready here. Charlie Adams on play-by-play, -play, joined by John Garcia on analyst duties. It's a beautiful day of weather and a beautiful day for some volleyball action. Yep, 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 Charlie. I'm you excited know. to do this for my first time. First time putting on the cans, and this is my first time in a while calling some Cranston High School East Volleyball. The last time I was on the mic for one of these games was girls volleyball when I was joined by Larry Inn, who's on the court here for the Thunderbolts and will be part of their starters here today, sitting as the libero. Yep, yep, yep. And we also have number five, Keenan Ricard. As let me see, right, right hitter. Teams ready to go. They have some nice new jerseys. I'm loving the black jerseys. They had those green and striped jerseys that called rugby jerseys, called yep. a lot of things besides yep, yep. beautiful jerseys. As we get things underway, yep, yep. served over the top. Now set up to bounce it over. Hendrickson gets it back to Yin. Now Pinsons sends it in. It goes out, out of bounds. bounds. It was a great setup by East. Just overhit it a little bit. That's it. Hawks get the first point in our first set. Cranston East looking for their first win in league play. Took two sweep losses to LaSalle and North Kingstown to open the year. Going up high and tipped it over. Good job there by Tim Calixito. Oh, Caden Ricard just missed it. Just missed the kill, but it's okay. He'll get it next time. Looks like Calixito is not wearing his jersey number. Nope. Uh, listed on the roster. He's wearing a different jersey number. A little confusion with the switch to the black jerseys there. As that's sent Great back down, there. and Darian Peterson gets the first point for the Thunderbolts. Number 12 is Carlos Laura. Charlie, just to let you know. Laura makes the serve, and Hendrickson looks to return, oh. blocked. Another attempt. Great block by Caden Ricard. Just not enough to get the point going their way as the Hawks pick up another one here. Hendrickson serve. Just getting underway in our first set. Thank you to everyone joining us here on the Fans Only Sports Network. Laura goes up high, or excuse me, Peterson goes up Points high. Out, Back on the board here. Yin went for the dig, but couldn't get it up over the net. Yin fields it. Stays in. Cranston East territory off the block. Ricard sends it over to no man's land. Great job, great job from Caden Ricard. Light tap for a point. One of the captains on this team. Darian, Darian Peterson, Peterson heads to the bench here. Two to four with Cranston East trailing. Yin readies to serve. Yin sends it across. It's gonna be Another point to the Hawks. By number three, Andrew Ramos. Sent over the top by Ryan Yin and hard spike down by Tafa and Doye. What a kill. Great setup by Cranston East there. That's how they love to play. Caden Ricard's being subbed out for Number four, Cato Comprodith. Twins with Caden Comprodith, of course. Making the serve off the bench. It falls just out of bounds, and Cranston East picks up another point here. 
Back within one. As Comperdiff ready to serve. Serve finds Ryan Yin. And net touch there by Ndoye. Gifting a point to the Hawks. Ryan Yin and Larry Yin are relatives and going up head to head here. Diggs, Coach Diggs, voicing some frustration early here in the first set. Pinsons goes high, sends it over. Loaded up shot, gets a point on the board once again for Bishop Hendrickin. Look Ryan Narcessian puts it over with the block. That serve goes long, out of bounds, a point headed Cranston East way. If you're wondering about the whereabouts of one Tim Yeen, who you'd normally hear on the microphone for a Cranston East game, he's off to Cambodia. To share the Cambodian New Year with family. East is making a comeback here after struggling at first, but. Pinson's jump serve goes just, just out, out of bounds. bounds. Larry in. I love the white jersey. You know, the black and white, not often you'd consider Cranston East colors just from looking at it, but they do have a hint of green. Hint of green on Yin's jersey. Unless I'm colorblind, I think the letters are green. Good dig there from the Hawks. Yin goes down to the floor and now sent over and will be out of bounds. Looks like Cranston East is, is finally locking in, subbing in. Darian Peterson and Tafa Nendoye and Caden Comprades, which will now be serving. Bolts have three set wins on the season, none in league play, looking for their first here, their first at home as well. Tipped over the net, diving stop made by Comperdiff, and now Hendrickin able to pick up the point. Hawks and Bolts on the Fans Only Sports Network. It's Hendrickens serve. Job done by Charles Kretzer. And Pinsons returns fire with Fury. Blocked over, now sent back. Yin goes far. Way out of bounds by Hendrickens. Point to East. Number five, Caden Ricard back in the game. For number four, Cato Comprades. Now, John, how much of a difference maker is Caden Ricard for this team? I think he grew as a player coming in as a sophomore, never playing volleyball in his life, growing, became a leader, and now as a captain. Now I see him, he's one of the best volleyball players I've ever met. He also played basketball, too. He's very inspirational, using his height to his advantage, and being a great volleyball player and a great leader for this team. He's not able to throw as many elbows as he can in basketball on the volleyball court. Yeah, but a big know. load up yeah. and a big score for Cranston East. Great job by Carlos Lohr on the kill. Hendrickin picks up another point there. Close one here, close one here. A little bit of a glare coming in from the windows as the sun sets towards the left side of the court. Laura fields it. Tapped over by Ricard who Great picks up touch. another point. Great touch by Caden Ricard. Looking like he was going for the kill, but just did a little tap in and it got the job done. See a little KT tape on the left leg of Larry in as he's gearing up to serve. Good serve there. Yin of the Hawks returns it and gets the point. Both Yins wearing the same number for their respective teams. Family competitiveness here. 
sent up for Ndoye, not high enough to work with. And the Hawks get another one on the board here. Pinson's hard Great. shot, perfectly placed. Great kill by Pinson's. They need to get him going. Cato Comperdiff back to serve. One of the many seniors on the Cranston East roster. Hard return and the block attempt by Caleb Schum goes out of bounds. Tried his best there, but it's okay. A lot of game left, a lot of game left. Also a part of the crew here on the Fans Only Sports Network, Ashton Allison doing the camera work. Yep, one of my great friends, Ashton Allison. Pinsons. Tries to get it in bounds. It's just a tad. Former football player for the Cranston East Thunderbolts. How do you feel about him, Jazz? You know, as we get our first time out here, we're going to take a time out on our end. The Hawks celebrating as they lead it 15-11. One time out in the first set of action here. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Fans Only Sports Network. Set one continues here as it's 15 to 11. Hawks leading it. Pinson's nearly got one there for Cranston East. Hawks recover and get another one. Hawks up to a five point lead in our first set. Good serve. Yin hits the deck as Hendrickson picks up another one. Serve, handled by Laura. Tossed up by Schum. Pinsons sends it over. Need a little bit of a rally from the Thunderbolts here to try to get back into this game. Need some energy in here. Pinsons sends it over. Great serve. A good serve. Immediate point for the Bolts. On the floor for Cranston East currently, Comperdiff, Yin, Shum, Ndoye, joined by Pinsons and Laura. Another great serve by Charles Pinsons there. Bring He's just beginning the rally. Back. Pinsons catches the net there, and that puts an end to a great streak of serves and Hawks are back on the board. Look at everyone tuned in watching the Fans Only Sports Network. Keep up with Thunderbolt Sports on our social media, TB Sports Media. Point for the Cranston East Thunderbolts four. Cranston East helped out by the Hawks there as Yen and Ndoye sub off here. Both Comperdiffs on the court. Does that serve? 
Great handled job. and put back into Hendrickon territory by Peterson for the point. Both twins on the court at the same time. Let's see what they can do. Hawks tap it lightly over. Shum sets up Laura, and he goes too far. Out of bounds, and Hendrickin with another point. Hendrickin leads it 19 to 16. You're watching the Fans Only Sports Network. Charlie Adams joined by John Garcia for Cranston East Boys Volleyball Action. Vincent tosses it up to Laura. Laura sends it over. Hendrickin with Yin sending it in for the score. Looking like Larry in there. Family connections. Yeah. The battle of the Yins might have to go to Ryan Yin at this point. Nope. As Larry Yin fields it there, tapped over by Shum. Point goes to Hendrickin, touch the net. Hawks are within four points of putting a close to our first set. We were promised an exciting matchup. This first set has been a close one as Laura gets it off the serve. Shum with the backhanded tap over. Way far out of bounds and kicked into the bleachers. Point to Cranston East. Bolts will have some work to do to bring back this first set. As fans continue to trickle into Venatulo Gym here at Cranston High School East. Shum serves it. Ryan Yin can't get up to that one. And the Hawks give up another point here. It's 21 to 18. Caleb Zum with the serve here. Caleb Shum. Shum, my bad. Tosses it over. Big load up and Pinsons can't handle the heat coming from Ryan Narcessian. Yin gets it. Shum receives. Loaded up for Laura. And reaching out, the Hawks might have just get, saved a point for the Cranston East Thunderbolts. Might have had too much power, could have gone out of bounds. And now it's guaranteed to be a point for the Thunderbolts. Still within three and still some time to work with. The Hawks grappling with their lead as built up and Yin sends it to Yin. Shum over to Pinson's. Fielded there by Benjamin War. Four, one-handed save. Yin tosses it to Yin once again. Up he goes and down the ball. Inbounds, Darian Peterson. Another point for him. He's making a comeback here. Game's very close. Hendrick only up by two. Two points in a back and forth set one. The Hawks have led for the most of it. But Cranston East has been on their tail all the way along. War tosses it up. Ricard loads it up. Shum saves it. Shum tosses it over now. War over to Ramos, and Ramos can't get it over. It's a one-point game here in set number one. Coming down to the wire here, Charlie. Looking to be an exciting finish to our opening set. And it's a timeout, and now Cranston East, the one with momentum. 22 to 21. Our set one is nearly to a close. Don't go anywhere. The final points of our first set when we return.
Welcome back to the Fans Only Sports Networks. It's 22 to 21. Hawks lead by a point, but Laura with the serve looking to tie. Ramos sent it hard, but Yin there to stop it. Diving try for the Hawks. Now Shum to Pinsons. Great job by Kata Ricard there. Getting the light tapping, getting a point. Game's tied 22 to 22. Getting intense in here. Even first set in the late stages. Another good serve there by Laura. Yin dives for it. Can't stop it from being a Hendrickson point to get, put them back in front. Great effort from Larry Yin, though. Thunderbolt bench and team managers trying to reignite the electricity in this building as a point scored by Cranston East. Game's tied 23 to 23, coming down to the wire. Last two points here. Darian Peterson heads to the bench. Yin ready to serve. Larry Yin. With the serve, Ramos with the return. Yin now sets it up for Pinsons, and Pinsons can't keep it in bounds. Great try from Larry setting there. Just missed. Timeout goes to Cranston East. Timeout, Cranston East. Score 24 to 23. The Hawks are leading by one, and we're just mere points away from the end of our first set but there's plenty of Cranston High School East sports action here on the Fans Only Sports Network as well as across Rhode Island. Thunderbolt Sports are taking over the state here with nine team or four teams playing here. We have the boys baseball team over in Smithfield, Rhode Island for a matchup that kicked off at 4.30 as well as the boys tennis team taking on the Pawtucket co-op team of Shea and Tolman over at the Parkview courts that kicked off at 4.30 as well. Girls lacrosse took on Providence Country Day. You can watch the replay live on the Fans Only Sports Network broadcasted by Evan Morrell. As we're back underway, one more point to go, but not over yet. Tie game. 24 to 24. Great hit by Toffin Indoye. And Ricard takes a seat here. As close as it can be to start things off. Skato Comprado with the serve. Serve sends Benjamin War out. And now a light tap over by save. Ramos. Pinsons tosses it down. Great play from Larry in saving the ball from hitting the ground. Setting up Pinsons to hit and get a point. Now Cato Comprodith ready to serve up by one. Next point would win it for the Thunderbolts, and they block it there. Hawks are rattled as it's sent over. Shum to Laura, spikes it out of bounds. Tie game once again. Keep it even here, 25 to 25. Yin off the serve, now Pinson sends it over. War tosses it to Kretzer. And Doye blocked. Cranston, he sends it over for the point. Charles Pinson's with the kill there. Cranston, he's up by one once again. Game point. The Thunderbolts, since tying it at 24 apiece, have had the advantage on both times. And we'll see if they can put the first set away here. Pinson sends it over. And one hit, it's tossed over, and Cranston East gets the point to put away set number one. Needing a couple of extra serves here, but 
the first set goes the way of the Thunderbolts, 27 to 25. We'll be back with set two after this quick commercial break. Welcome back, ready for set two here between the Hawks and the Bolts. Cranston East leads on Bishop Hendrickin currently, one to nothing. Charlie Adams here joined by John Garcia. And John, what did you see out of Cranston East in that first set? It was a very tight game, a lot of mistakes early, but it seemed like after the timeouts, they got calmed down, talked about it, figured out what they needed to do, and ended up getting the win. Definitely some resilience shown by Cranston East as the Bolts are now on the right side of your screen. Getting some energy from the Bolts early now. Shum lobbing it to Laura. Laura sent back by the Hawks and now trying again. Hendrickson gets the first point of set number two. A little miscommunication there, but it's okay. Tossed up over the top, Laura. Sharp attack there. Another try by Peterson for Cranston East, and now Laura slobs it over, finds its way to Kratzner. Ryan in hitting the ball out of bounds. Point goes to Cranston East. Benjamin War with a little too much on it. Go, 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 
Caleb Schum ready to serve it here. War to Ramos. Schum dives over to stop it from falling. Over the top, Yin gets it across. Yin putting in work as a libero here early. Out of bounds. Cranston East picks up another point here. Caleb Shroom serving it as the sun sets in the Cranston East gym. A good block by Peterson. Ball ends up, ends up in the stands almost hitting somebody. Nearly hit one of the opposing team players in the bleachers. Yeah. Tossed over, Shum gets it. Yin to Laura, fielded by Benjamin War. A little miscommunication point. again from Cranston East. Hawks working from behind to start our second set here. As Cranston East leads one set to none. Santiago Harrington with the serve for Hendrickson, and now the return fire by Cranston East goes out of bounds. Evened up once again here in our second set. Just making it over the net. Caden Ricard with a light tap over. Hawks return it, and it's out of bounds. Caden, Caden Ricard using his finesse, trying to get a cheeky point. Bolts up by one. Laura, clean serve. War to Ramos, a clean return for another Hawks point and another tied up ball game. Out of bounds on the serve. Point given to Cranston East. Larry Yin about to serve for the Thunderbolts. Very versatile player. Play multiple positions. Great serve by him. Sent over as Laura fields it. Shum to Pinson's good block there. Great save by Larry. Yin traveling outside of the court's parameters to save that one and a Great. nice block. From Caden Ricard, the man himself. Went out of bounds and it's a Hendrickson point despite the great effort. Oh, great effort from Caden. Bishop Hendrickson's boys volleyball team coached up by Mike Harrington going against Coach Jamal Diggs. Pinson's tried to push one over there. Laura saves. Pinson's with a hard shot that's blocked and will fall into Cranston East territory. Hendrickson taking the lead now. Getting some momentum against the Bolts. Cranston East was not set up properly to defend against that block as it went just past the back lines of the defense. Larry in trying his best out there to play defense. Hawks miss hit the ball a little bit. Hawks are doubling up here on their scoring efforts, looking to take the biggest lead of the set so far as they're handed a point there. Up by three points. The Hawks led by at least five points in the first set despite Cranston East making a comeback to win it. Hendrickson hitting sketch celebrations as another timeout's taken here in the middle of our second set. Eight to five, the Hawks are leading as we enter our first break of set number two.
Welcome back. Eight to five. Set two. As Cranston East leads one set to none. Hawks looking to come back here. Pinsons tosses it over. And a high rising effort by Charles Kretzner grants a point to the Thunderbolts. Cato Comprodith coming in for Caden Ricard here to serve. Cheering him on as his teammates. Great serve by him. Moore tossing it up to Narcessian for the score. Hendrickson is a very young team out there. There's a very veteran Cranston East. Big hit attempted by Pinson's. A better save made by Bishop Hendrickson. Thank you to everyone tuned in, listening live or on demand. Benjamin War with the hitting over, hitting over the line on the serve. Cranston East trying to make a comeback here again, being down by three. Couple whistles there to tell the Hendrickson bench players to stop horsing around with an extra ball lying around the gym as Yin, the one-handed save, bounced it up but couldn't keep it in a location for a teammate to help him out there. Great effort by Cato Comprades. Trying to make the play there. Ramos sends it over. Yin seemingly cutting off Comprades to Save that and bounce it over to net. Sent over, blocked, and the Hawks give up a point here to the Thunderbolts. Great kill by Carlos Laura there. East trying to get momentum here, trying to come back. You know, you credited timeouts to helping them come back in the first set. Have you seen more of the same off of this first time out used in our second set. Yeah, we're seeing that they're working together more, communicating, just working better as a team, scoring points, playing defense, getting blocks as we see right there by Darian Peterson. The energy is in the team now. We can see them, they're playing their hardest now, playing their type of volleyball. Peterson was a member of the boys basketball team and also played in the student versus faculty game as a member of the faculty side as an 11th grader. We're within one point in our second set as Cranston East who has been continually trailing it feels somehow always sticking right next to the Hendrickson Hawks as they lead by a set. High ball game now here, Charlie. Comparative, ready to serve. It's an 11-11 game. Third block from Darren Peterson once again. Another one. Two blocks from Darian Peterson. Getting the point for Cranston East. Peterson being a big help to the Thunderbolts when he's been on the court. And now Benjamin War talking with the referee here. The crowd getting into it as well. War tosses it up. As now Shum to Laura. And War to Harrington is the return effort from Bishop Hendrickson as that will be a point towards the Hawks. That's a questionable call there. I feel like the ball hit the line. From our broadcast position, it looked like it might have. 
Ashton, what, what did you see on that? Was it in or out? Our Ashton with no not answer. Very talkative. You'd wonder why I wouldn't want him being a guest host on the Thunderbolt Sports Talk Tim Yeen List episodes coming up. It's, that's actually my dream to be on that podcast. Yeah, one part I forgot to mention in the intro, John Garcia, despite knowing a lot of the players on Cranston East and some of the players also being his classmates over at Cranston West, he is a Falcon in enemy territory here. Yep, I'm a Falcon, guys. But I will always support my friends, like Caden Ricard, who's also a Falcon, but is balling out for the Cranston East Thunderbolts. Plenty of people bleeding red in this building, but representing green here tonight. Game is tied here. Shroom lobs it to Laura, who's rejected. Yin with the great block. And the Hawks lead set two once again. Larry in with great eyesight there, seeing the ball go out of bounds. That's going to... As the Cranston East Thunderbolts lob it back over, War to Yin and another point. Ryan Yin is beginning to play very well in this, in this set. It's heating up here against his cousin Larry. Now, be, now about to serve. Ryan Yin sends it over to Larry Yin. And a hard spike by a one Caden Ricard. Great kill from Caden Ricard. The bunnies on him. It's just crazy. Reminds me of LeBron playing basketball. What leadership? Great leadership from the kid. Great serve from Larry Yin. Sends Ryan Yin to the ground, and now Shum fields the spike sent over by the Hawks. War to Ramos, block. blocked. Shum to Yin, and now Pinson sends it over, and it'll drop in for the score. Great effort from the Thunderbolts there. Got a little messy, but they got out of it getting a point. Cranston East leads at the 16 point mark. Larry's about to serve. Great serve from him. What a save what a by save Ryan, Yin. Ryan Yin. Benjamin War tosses it over. Now Ricard looking for that empty space as War goes lunging for it. Oh my Yin God, what a save dive. from Larry Yin. Shum tosses it, Caden at the net. Pushes it over. What a block. Kena Ricard, point goes to Cranston East. Larry in with a great save on that, on that play to get East another point. 17 to 15. Cranston East with their largest and latest lead thus far tonight. And a poor effort there by Andrew Ramos. Rejected by the net, 18 to 15. Larry's on a roll here, serving. See if he can get another one. Larry Yin finds Ryan Yin. They've been going back and forth as a good spike made by Charles Kretzer to get the score for Bishop Hendrickson. Coach of the Hawks. Mike Harrington has been lean, been a little strict strict on using his timeouts as now they fall down three points once again in the latter stages of set number two. Jaden Ricard off to the bench here late in our second set. Serve sent over. Ryan Yin feels it. And Benjamin War sends it over. 
Up top, Pinson's floating it over. Shroom, and a little mistiming with Ndoye, gives the Hawks the point. 19 to 17. As Dennis Dixon checks in for the first time today. Some good communication immediately coming from Dixon as the, the Hawks serve it. Benjamin Moore tosses it over. And Dixon looking for an immediate impact. Gets involved right away. Misstep there by the Hawks. And the first to 20 points in set number two. Up by three. Cranston East is trying to get this win here to be two sets up. Great serve from Charles Pinsent. Good movement by Yin as it gets to Laura just out of bounds. I don't know. That looked like it hit the line once again. Charlie, I don't know. What did you see there? I think it might have been a touch past the line. Definitely a close one. Thunderbolt Sports Talk is your home for Cranston East in the podcast world. Charlie Adams and Tim Yeen bring you all the action every Friday afternoon on Spotify and any platform you get your podcasts. Season two is underway and a new episode coming out Friday. I would like to see Ash and Allison in that podcast to see what he would have to say. So I hope Charlie one day you give him a chance. Because I want to hear what he has to say and every, everything he wants to say. Well, you know, I have my own opinions on that as another point gets in for Cranston East. A little bit of an awkward cat. He's one of our producers for the podcast, however. And he has a major role in producing every episode. Yep, yep, yep. Great guy there. 21 to 19, served over by Comperdiff. Ryan Yin with the kill there. Hendrickens heating up. Cranston needs only up by one. Another tight set, Charlie. What do you see from the, the Hawks here? Well, you know, I'm a fan of Larry Yin. I'm a friend of Larry Yin, but I'd say Ryan Yin is really doing a lot of work for the Hawks here, especially in set number two. Great kill from Carlos Laura there. Cato Ricard about to get back into the game. I'm feeling he's about to make an impact here. Twenty-two to twenty. Cranston East on the doorstep of going up two sets to none. Great try from Darian Peterson trying to get the block there. Hawks get one back. Still Landon in Cranston East possession of the lead here. And then McCarty with the serve. Larry with the miss hit. Tie ball game now, guys. Rough way to give up your lead late in the set as the Thunderbolts help out the Hawks with that one. It's okay. Larry and Will make a comeback from that. He's built for these moments. Oh, Caden Ricard with the miss hit too. Hunter can get their first lead in a little bit, up by one. Ball just barely touching the pole there, and timeout taken by Cranston East. 23 to 22, the Hawks have taken the lead for the first time in a while during our second set, and they'll lead it when we return for our final moments in set number two.
Welcome back, 23 to 22. Cranston East once again working from behind to try to bring home a set as Yin barely hangs on to that one. War to Ramos and Pinsons can't handle it with just the one arm. Hendrickson with game point here. East down by two. Need to focus up, try to make a comeback here. Certainly within reach as Hendrickson ready to serve. Yin to Ricard sending it over. Now War tossing it up and Ryan Yin tosses it in. Shum, Ricard gets it over. War, a diving stop made by Larry Yin and point goes to Bishop Hendrickson to end our second, oh! Point goes to Cranston East. Ref made, a, ref made a bad call, was a little confused there. East only down by one, feeling the momentum here. That was a quick reversal that keeps this set alive. The flag person had no clue what the call was. As Yin now to Shum to Ricard. Ricard it's with tied. the kill. It's tied once again. Kato Ricard, aka Superman with super kill. Yeesh. Great leader on this team. Game's tied now, 24 to 24. Carlos Laura with the serve. Point goes to East. Great serve from Carlos Laura. East up by one. Will Carlos Laura finish it here with this serve? Well, he certainly has a great opportunity to do so. Cranston East back up by a point here as we're in advantage. Cranston East. Pinson's nearly had it there. Pinson's now with the short stuff, and it's tied up 25-25. We've been treated to two great sets here between the Hawks and the Bolts. These two teams are battling. Loving what I'm seeing here, brother. Love what I'm seeing here, brother. Ryan Yin, a long oh. looper, goes out of bounds. Maybe a little mistake there. Might be a little fatigue, Charlie. Playing over the limit for both sets. Yeah, both have been a battle as Larry Yin Larry now. With a great serve. Ooh, a little miscommunication by the Hawks, but they recover. And now Pinson's blocked there. Shum tosses it up, a soft tap over by Pinson's. Now spiked down by Benjamin War. Game's tied once again, Charlie. A little Kareem Abdul-Jabbar action as he just got up there and hooked it right back over. Seems like East always gets that one point ahead, but just cannot finish it here, Charlie. What do they need to do to finish this? Just got to keep battling, you know, still in their hands as they give up advantage for the first time. First time in this entire game between the Hawks and the Bolts that Cranston East has a chance right here to lose the set and the Hawks tied at throw it away. Tied at 27. That was the first advantage they had. Kato Ricard getting subbed out for... Cato Comprades once again, who's about to serve. East, East bench clapping for him. Great serve by Cato. Ryan Yin fields it. Benjamin War travels to get it. Cranston East, one touches it over. East just needs one point to finish, to finish this game. Seems like they've been struggling to just get those two points ahead. But I have a feeling here they're going to get it done. Charles Kretzer was not pleased by his performance there. <laughs> Tapped over, and this set will continue. What a back and forth here. Cranston East just can't get over the hump. Getting, getting up by one. And get it over. It's tied at 28-28 here. Benjamin War assessing his options as he's ready to serve. War tosses it over. Fielded by Laura. 
Shum to Pinson's set back. Hendrick and up by one once again. Can they finish it? Seems like both teams here just can't get over that hump. Grueling second set. Benjamin Moore looks to close it out. Pinson's tosses it over. Ryan Yin fields it. Rejection there. Sent back. Play slows down in Hendrickson territory. Yin fields it. Tossed up. Pinson's knocks it in. Tie ball game once again, Charlie. It's a very electric game here. Ashton Allison is loving it. Ashton Allison's loving the game here. Loving what I'm seeing, brother. Thunderbolt Sports are live on the Fans Only Sports Network and bringing it as that drops in to win or take advantage again take advantage. in set number two. All East need is one point here. Timeout goes to Hendrickson. What a grueling second set, and the Hawks need time to talk it over. 30 to 29, Cranston East has advantage. And after all we've seen following this game being tied up at 24 apiece, who do you think can really pull through? I think Cranston East will pull through here. It seems like every time they give up that lead, it's just by one mistake. But I feel like after the timeout, they've always got it controlled. And this one play, they're going to get it done. And I feel like it's going to go to Caden Ricard for the kill for the game. Well, you know, this is a great opportunity for Cranston East to know exactly what they're going to do when they exit the timeout. You can see some basketball being played with a volleyball in the background. Struggling to make oh a layup goodness. here. Looking like Scotty Barnes in the All-Star Skills competition. Yep, yep. He didn't make one there. Poor basketball play, but he'll head back to the bleachers and we'll head back to game action. 30 to 29. Charles Pinson's with the serve, looking to close things out. Great serve. Ryan Yin gets it to Benjamin War, the Good save. Block. As Shum tosses it over to Laura. Hard sent in. Great save made by Charles Pinson's to keep this one alive. What a it's rally. Going back and forth here. Great Another block. Stop. Touched over lightly. Shum bounding it up, and this has been a great rally. This would be an amazing momentum stealer for the Hawks. Ryan with another save. It's getting very, very electric here. Just when you thought it was over, it continues. Cranston well, Cranston East. finished this. Carlos Lohr trying his best. Ryan Yin, hope and prayers as it's sent back over. Shoom to, to with the win by Cranston East. Momentum goes towards these great, great set between these two teams. Very electric. The Bolts go up two sets to none, and what a finish to set number two. The longest rally we've had all game, and Cranston East is rolling. They are stunting on those Hawks as they enter our third set.
Welcome back. Set three on your doorstep, two to nothing. The Bolts are in plenty of control of this one as they take on Bishop Hendrickson. Charlie Adams here joined by John Garcia. Thank you to everyone who's tuned in, listening, or watching live or on demand. Cranston East nearly had their second set finished off, but the referee made the call and gave it some life, and Cranston East took that chance and brought it to a second set win. Now up by two sets to none. Going to take some heartbreaking defeat to put this one out of Cranston East control. I'll say, I'll say one thing about the two sets, though. Two sets have been very close and could have both went Hendrickens' way. But East, at the end, made less mistakes, stayed locked in, and got the dub in both sets. Now they're up 2 up. It seems like they're always down, but they always make comebacks. Larry in, tosses it over, and Caden Ricard the one to pick up the point there. Caden Ricard with another kill. That boy can play some volleyball. Great leader on this team. Does a lot for this team. Blood, sweat, and tears for this team. Edgeman War up to Ramos. Seen that early and often. Great save by Caleb there. Another good block. Cranston East picking up the point here. Two to one, they lead it. It's Tonka Tuesdays here at Cranston East Venatulo Gym as the Bolts pick up, up another point. Seems like they were playing some basketball. Benjamin War to Ryan Yin. Ryan Yin gets it back off of the Cranston East block. Laura goes low for it and pushed over and just barely misses the mark as Caleb Schoon couldn't keep it in bounds. Very close, very close. Evan Morell fresh off calling the Cranston East girls lacrosse game. Can't get enough of eSports, I guess, Evan Moreau. Cranston East now picking up the close call there. Larry in with the serve here. Great serve from him. Benjamin War tossed it up. Great job by Caden Ricard. Almost getting the block there. Bolts are picking up another point here. Building a little bit of a lead, but by the last two games. Might be a little bit of a defeated look out of the Hawks out of the gate. Ryan Yin with a great hit. Still alive. And now the point goes to Bishop Hendrickson. A little bit of a hectic attempt to save it by Laura. Cost them a point there. Fun around as he tried to save that one. Point goes to Cranston East. A little breaking news for all the listeners. Next episode of Thunderbolt St Sports Talk this Friday as Tim Yeen is in Cambodia will be co-hosted by Evan Morell and Emmett Billings. Should be a fun episode that you won't want to miss. You have a fun, fun episode, Emmett Billings. Emmett Billings will probably talk a lot. Evan Morrell, as you know, loves to talk a lot. Be sure to bring up the Boston Celtics and WrestleMania and all the big happenings that went on over this past week in the sports world or sports entertainment world as well. Yep. What an exciting time it is to be a wrestling fan. What a hard serve by Pinson's. 
Dig made by Ward to keep it alive for Bishop Hendrickson. Mistimed and whistled for. Point goes to Bishop Hendrickson, a double touch. Costs a lot of money that they just nearly sent a volleyball at. Tried hitting for the basket here, but completely missed. They better have good insurance if they plan on missing the basket that wide. Larry in, tossed it up. Quickly saved and recovered by Laura. Laura goes back after it. Perfectly placed. Grants and East also has some great stat keepers on their bench, joined by their players. Oh, no, otherwise known as team captains. Or team managers. Team managers, sorry. Seems like they're helping them a lot here. Definitely a big part of why they're up two sets to none. Pinsons Ooh, drills the net. The net. been not many sets that have started like this for Cranston East. They're leading for the majority of the start. It's usually been a comeback for them. Laura athletically gets it over the net. Now Pinsons saves it, nearly connects with the speakers in the rafters before being saved and pushed over by Cranston East and catches the rafters there and will cost Bishop Hendrickson as it goes out of bounds. Somewhat of a low roof here at Venatulo Gym, especially when you're talking volleyball. Yeah, somewhat, somewhat. Very unlucky there for the Hawks. Some more Cranston West. Fans are in the building here as Will Tercios is here as well as Tim Davey. We also bleed green. We support all of Cranston at Cranston West. Tim Davey once upon a time played in the Cranston East volleyball program. We all now, wanted him to make a comeback, but you know, stuff happens. He's made his move to jujitsu. Having some great success there. Larry in. Great save by Caden. Oh, foul. It's okay. Caden Ricard doesn't make many mistakes, so it's okay if he makes one. I want to see Larry in get involved a little more in this game. He's definitely been outshadowed by his relative Ryan Yin, I yeah. have to say. Yeah. Can't lie there. But I have a feeling there's a lot of time left in this game. Larry will get involved and make a big play. Because the game is still close. He's only up by two in the third set. When I asked Larry for a scouting report on the Hawks, he did say that Cranston, or that Bishop Hendrickson's best player was Ryan Yin. And he's shown out pretty well here based on that assessment. One of the team managers I just seen was helping one of the bench play some of the bench players warm up, I'm guessing, because they're about to get in the game. So I'm guessing that's another thing they do. Definitely a pivotal piece of this roster construction here under Coach Diggs. Great block. Also a very competitive position to get. Larry in. Giving it to Caleb, to Charles. Oh. Larry oh. in with the, almost with the save. Another good rally there. Quickly brought to a close by the Hawks. Big spike by Darren, Peterson. Darren Peterson with a great spike there. Caleb amazed by what he just saw. Ashton Allison is loving it. Clapping right next to us. The bench is very hyped. Nearly up. floated up there to spike that one down. Hendrickson gives it right back. And Andrew Ramos 
Returns the favor. 12 to 10. Cranston East in front of set number three. Looking to put an end to this one and make it a sweep. Would be their first league win of the season, their first sweep of the season. They already have their first home set win of a season, as well as their first league set win of the Kane season. Kane Ricard with another mistake, but it's okay. Two mistakes. He's been playing great this game, so it's fine. I guarantee he'll do something great. Ah, well, you counted for it. You said he only makes one or two a game. Yeah. Oh, Charles my goodness. Charles makes the play and gets the point for them. So we love to see. I love to see it, brother. What a spike. Absolutely. Seems like the Hendrigan coach is giving up with the giving up with the timeouts here. Even if the team is down a little bit, he's sat down. You know, even in set two, you saw him hesitant to use them until he got way into overtime. And now it's back to a one-point game. Comperdiff goes wide on the serve. Chris and East Volleyball is back in action on the Fans Only Sports Network this Thursday as they pick up another point here. Ryan trying his best there. Seems like he's putting in a lot of work for Hendrickson. The Thunderbolts take on Cherho this Thursday, 6.30 p.m., right here live on the Fans Only Sports Network. Heavy serve sent in by Pinsons. Hendrickson gathers. Benjamin War over to Kretzer, and the point goes to Cranston East. A lot of momentum here for East, up by three. Seems like they can't get away, though. Pinson's a little lighter on this touch as Cranston East with another looks. save. Oh, it was four hits. Kato Ricard drinking some water because he's been working so hard in this game. Seems like the coach needs to get him back in so they can get this dub. Oh, coach there, you saw that. Pinsons. Coach seems like he plays soccer. Pinsons went a little too hard and just out of bounds right in line with head coach of Bishop Hendrickson, Mike Harrington. Cranston East, another point here. It's 17 to 13. Some fans might have already decided that this one's said and done. Just about looking that way. So a lot of smiles on the Cranston East side of things as they're having fun here in our third set, which could be the final set. Most notably, if Cranston East pulls out the victory here, that continues to be another case where Tim Yeen calls all these games for these teams, and then I roll up and call like one or two games, and they win all of them. We'll see how that goes Thursday when you tune in to watch them take on Chera. Ryan Yeen with a great save. Even better return effort by Darian, Darian Peterson. Peterson. Darian Peterson has been playing great today. That's middle. Timeout taken by Bishop Hendrickson. Momentum going towards East. 18th of 13, Cranston East is leading over Bishop Hendrickson. And Thunderbolt Sports Talk is the place for Cranston East sports news, as well as news in the professional sports world. It's been a busy week with the MLB season tuning up, but also the biggest event on the planet, WrestleMania weekend, will be talked about in episode coming out this Friday. John, what was your thoughts on WrestleMania weekend as a whole? I am a big John Cena fan, and as you know, he made a return, did his thing, helped Cody Rhodes get a win, and it's made me become like a fan again because when I was a little kid, I used to watch. Now I'm watching again. You so. know, that might have been the best five minutes of WWE television that we've ever seen. I'd say best WrestleMania of all time, Charlie. That's what they're saying, you know, definitely – Based on the metrics and a lot of positive fan review. It's a new era, the Triple H era. 
Not to mention NXT stand and deliver, certainly delivering as well on the Saturday. Another afternoon. block by Darian Peterson. Seems like he's very locked in here. 19 to 13. He's his biggest lead in all three sets. Everyone tuning in, make sure to check out at TB Sports Media on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok for all of the Thunderbolt news regarding all of the great sports that Cranston East has to offer. Daily updates on games coming out, games going live, results going out, and keeping you up to date with everything Cranston East sports. Seems like Hendrick and this slipping a little bit and the game's getting out of their hands. Kata Ricard looking our way. Best player on the team, I think. Number five, Captain Caden, Superman 2.0. Get a whistle here. That gives a point to the Hawks. 20 to 15 and Laura makes it 21 to 15. I don't know what happened on the bench there. But Coach Diggs seems a little frustrated with this bench. That caused them a point. They didn't have the right people on the court at the right time. I don't think they had the right amount of people. Just not the right number. Caused the whistle there. Ryan Yin sends it over. Larry Yin fields it. Kaden oh, Ricard goes Kata wide. Kaden Ricard wide. A lot of power on that ball. Just, just too much air in it. It was a beautiful day for golfing, and now it's nighttime here and cooled off to 55 degrees. Making Venetula Gym definitely a nicer place to be. Great than it play might have by been. Larry Ian. What a diving play. Seemed like a shortstop in baseball. Keeping you up to date on Cranston East score results. The Thunderbolt baseball team was taken down in their matchup against Smithfield. Three to one. Carlos Morejo with a home run in the loss. John Devine also had 12 strikeouts. And across six innings in that defeat. Great play by Larry Yin. Send his blood to play this sport. Older brother used to play for Cranston East. On the good side of Cranston East news, boys tennis beat Pawtucket, beat Pawtucket six to one. The final First result that we have to report Besides this one that is yet to be concluded is the girls lacrosse game, which Providence Country Day was leading late, nine to seven with two minutes to go. We have some players to our left here from that team. And they closed out that victory nine Kendrick to seven. Kendrick is coming back a little bit. Seems like East calmed down, hasn't kept the energy ever since that foul happened on the bench. Things have turned around for Hendrickson. It was a 9-7 to seven defeat for the Cranston East girls lacrosse team as boys volleyball with a win could split the day of athletics for Cranston East. Kata Ricard with the soft touch. Bouncing just off the net as it went over. Ryan Yin to Benjamin Ward, back to Yin as save made by Ricard. Now Shum tosses it up, Ricard fields it over. Now War to Ramos. Laura bounces oh my God. up. Larry for it. Yin with save a great made. save. Diving Seems effort by Yin. Larry Yin diving everywhere. Oh. Hendrickson making a comeback. Scores 22 to 20. Cranston East. Momentum's on their side. Now it's looking to be a kind of opposite to how we've seen sets one and two play out with. Cranston East, who have led all the way in this final set, or what could be the final set, now kind of faltering late. Oh, little collision little by collision. teammates. Larry in. 
Cranston East couldn't act fact, fast enough to make a difference out of it. Two diving players on that play. Caden Ricard with the spike. Great block by Charles Pinson to get the momentum back on their side. Another great effort from the Cranston East. Big men here on the volleyball Pin team. Pinson's going up high for that one. Hendrickens coach Mike Horn. Her Mike Harrington seems like he doesn't want to call a timeout even though he's down by three on the third set. Shroom tosses it over. Pinson oh, sends it in. Out. Back to a two point game. As Ricard fighting a cough here. Closest to our camera side. He's fine. He'll make it through. Now he's going to spike it. Oh. Oh, Larry in late to make the diving stop. Hunter can only down by one. Game is close again, Charlie. Who do you think pulls out here? Well, you know, Cranston East has been able to pull out these close scenarios every time they've been in them. And they're set up for another one here. 23 to 22, timeout taken. We'll take the timeout right along with them. When we return the final points of set three, which could be the final set here tonight. Welcome back to the Fans Only Sports Network. 23 to 22, only two points separate the Thunderbolts from their first league win of the season. It's a new season and they're looking to get in the win column early. Oh, tie ball game now. Seems like Cranston Nice has crumbled ever since that, that crucial foul on the bench. We're not having enough players on the court. Despite girls volleyball being in the fall season, Today was the first set of volleyball this school year that we've seen a home set win. And we might see our third home set win here that could close out a victory here for the East, Thunderbolts. East up by one. Hendrick and player. And girls volleyball couldn't reel in an elusive win in their season. Boys volleyball quickly looking to put an end to the volleyball as a whole losing ways. Pinson's goes high. Sent over to Gerter. Still in play. Big effort. Sends it right back That's over, game. but that'll do it. Cranston East with the win. 3-0 in set play. Very hype. 25 to 23 is your final score of the third set, and that will make it three to nothing. Cranston East takes home the sweep against the Hawks. What a performance, a dominant one at that. We were warned of a sweep when we entered here from some of the Cranston East students, and they delivered it, John. Yeah, I'll give MVP to Caden Ricard and Larry Inn. Both played very well and were very crucial for their team and their wins. All around great job by all the big men on Cranston East as they pick up the three to nothing win. Close sets all the way around, but Cranston East stayed resilient and pushed through for a clean sweep over to Bishop Hendrick and Hawks. That'll do it for us on the Fans Only Sports Network. On behalf of myself, Charlie Adams, our cameraman, Ashton Allison, and my broadcast partner, John Garcia. Have a great rest of your night. We hope to see you tune in to the Fans Only Sports Network sometime soon. Perhaps consider tuning in on Thursday right around 6.30 for boys volleyball taking on Cherroho right where you found this one. But for us here tonight, we'll say goodbye. Have a great rest of your night, folks.